Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I want to show you how to do some smoke simulation. Uh, I've prepared a simple basic smoke simulation here. Let me just play back that for you. And see, we're just creating this smoke uh, just so it can reveal uh, the silhouette of uh, the word subscribe. And uh, the setup is very simple. I have two main smoke objects actually three smoke objects I just select this and uh, first turn it into so that you can see it directly so we have the domain which is just a container for this entire simulation and uh, we have a particle system here which is the source of the smoke you see uh, it makes it's, it gives you a better control over the smoke and uh, where you want it to be placed and uh, yeah this is the velocity of the smoke without having to first simulate uh, the, the entire smoke to, to determine what velocity you want. Uh, then we have this effector, which is basically a collision object for the smoke. And uh, we won't be rendering this. Uh, that's why you see I set it to wireframe so that you can see it in the view. I just wanted to, for the smoke, uh, to just reveal uh, a silhouette of this, as you can see here. see Re results look pretty nice I just have to render them out but I just wanted to talk about the settings uh, before I get into uh, the rendering uh, you can see the resolution of this is not really that crisp and uh, that resolution or if you want to get rid of those jagged edges just have to increase uh, your resolution here right now I'm using a resolution of at 250 divisions uh, but uh, if you increase that you can get rid of those jagged edges uh, the default i think is about 32 which is not enough to uh, to create uh, to capture those details clearly but uh, yeah if you want uh, that to be very smooth you, you would have to increase uh, the resolution here and uh, I'm all, you can also see if you try to do this uh, using the default values your smoke is going to be very very fast so what i did i also reduced uh, the time scale here uh, the, def the default is set to a value of 1, uh, but uh, reducing it by 0.5 is uh, just cutting the simulation speed uh, to half. means that uh, the smoke simulates a bit slow. And uh, if you look at the smoke, there is some bit of turbulence within the smoke. And uh, that I added that using this uh, turbulence force, which you, which you can add using Shift A force turbulence. And I can use other settings here uh, for the strength is just how much turbulence you want and uh, the size is just the scale of the turbulence and uh, that is usually determined by the scene size of your yeah the size of your scene uh, then for for the emission of the particles I used a particle system and uh, just increased at uh, the end frame to, so that uh, this is the entirety of uh, my timeline and also increased the lifetime to something that uh, so that my particles can last a little bit more uh, to produce enough smoke and that if you want to increase your timeline the end of your timeline you have you have to also to go to the domain and increase your end yeah where is that where is that i think it's under catcher you have to increase the end frame of your simulation uh, the default is usually 50 frames so it will only f simulate for 50 frames and then stop but uh, if you want it to simulate for further than that uh, you have to increase uh, the end frame uh, this collision object is very simple it's uh, you just give it a fluid a fluid uh, type and change the type to effector and uh, I think that's you just have to also maybe increase the effector uh, the, the surface thickness to so that the smoke doesn't go through uh, the effector and uh, those are the settings I used uh, nothing very fancy and uh, yeah so to make sure that your smoke is emitted by the particles you select uh, I can say I have a few uh, particle emitters here just to have them distributed in different areas so that our source of smoke is uh, from different areas and uh, we can fill up this area uh, quite fast so to make that, 
in the particle system so in the smoke for this for these particles to be emitted to emit the smoke you have to give them a fluid type but uh, the type the fluid type should be flow and under settings uh, you want uh, the flow behavior to be in flow and then the flow source uh, change it from mesh to particle and make sure you also set a particle system for that and uh, you can also turn on the initial velocity uh, which means that uh, the particles or the smoke will use uh, the velocity of the particles uh, as the initial velocity so that they start with with uh, some velocity and I also reduce the velocity of uh, sorry the gravitational force acting on these particles uh, all these meshes are using the same particles and uh, if I wanted to have another smoke source maybe on this side I'll just duplicate this rotate it uh, so that it can start producing particles uh, in that direction and uh, you can see because I have some turbulence force in this scene my put my particles are not just being uh, emitted directly into the scene are uh, they also being affected by the turbulence now that's it so then uh, after that the, the, those are the major settings uh, so the resolution of your smoke again let me just recap the settings i used uh, especially for the domain uh, the, the settings attached here was uh the resolution uh, the time scale and uh, uh, because I wanted to bake using the cache I changed from lip replay which is basically if you hit play uh, the smoke will start simulating but I wanted to have control over that so that I can just hit the bake button so I switched it from replay to final so that I can hit the bit the bake button uh, go leave let my computer uh, catch everything or simulate everything and I'll come back later so that's what I did you can see uh, I think those are the major settings I changed here I guess I should also have used adaptive domain which is which will reduce on the simulation time usually uh, so that was that was those are the settings I used for the domain let's see then for the effector for the collision object I changed the type fluid type to effector and I also made sure that uh, it had a collision uh, type so that these particles can collide on that effector because remember all our smoke particles are being emitted from these uh, particle systems from these particles so if these particles go through this surface or this collider smoke will also be emitted within those within the insides of the wall which we which is something we didn't want so you can see no smoke is uh, being emitted inside uh, the reason you see some of that being is emitted uh, is simply a fault of our resolution so if you increase resol the resolution high enough uh, you won't see any of that inside here so but uh, that increases the computer increases the computation time uh, that's why I didn't want to do it and uh, what else what else this text has to be a mesh uh, for this to work but uh, yeah so that's it I'll give this a render and uh, show you the results after but uh, for now yeah I think this came out just fine now you can also add in some lights if you want now <clears throat> there's a difference between are the viewport what you're seeing in a viewport and uh, in the workbench render and what you will see in look dev or your final renders here uh, because the final render resolution is determined by the as uh, the samples you set here and uh, also the samples you set for your volumetrics so if you want a high resolution render you want to change uh, this resol resolution so yeah the, the smaller the uh, the resolution you can see now we get better results nearly identical to what we have here yeah so that's it uh thank you for watching